Good morning. Uh, I'm Dr. Harsh Gupta with the Department of Neurology at the University of Arkansas Little Rock. I'm one of the co-authors of the scientific paper titled Transient Ischemic Attack and Predictability of Future Events. A transient ischemic attack is defined as an episode of neurologic dysfunction caused by focal cerebral ischemia with complete recovery within 24 hours. In 2009, the American Heart Association changed the definition of transient ischemic attack from time-based to tissue-based, whereby the presence of restricted diffusion on MRI is classified as ischemic stroke, irrespective of the duration of symptoms. We reviewed different prediction scores, including California score, ABCD score, ABCD2 score, ABCD2I score, ABCD3 score, ABCD3I score, and ABCD3V scores. These scores were designed to predict the future risk of stroke after a transient ischemic attack. We reviewed all published articles on this topic via a comprehensive search conducted using Ovid Midline from 1995 to April 2013, irrespective of any language barrier. ABCD score included age, blood pressure, clinical features, and duration of symptoms, but is limited by the absence of vascular imaging, and it does not help to identify the stroke etiology. ABCD score has been modified by the addition of different variables, such as diabetes, vascular imaging, which includes both carotid and intracranial vascular imaging, dual TIAs, and restricted diffusion on brain MRI. Number of these prediction scores have been validated except ABCD3V score. Different scores may have different prediction rates for future strokes depending on the variables included, examiner's speciality, patient setting, and follow-up time period. In our view, ABCD2I and ABCD3I appear to be the best prediction scores because they have the maximum area under the curve and they include information about the patient's vasculature and they have been externally validated. These prediction scores are clinically useful because we can identify the patients who are at risk of having a future stroke and we can decide on inpatient admission versus outpatient management to offset the huge cost of hospital admissions. Further studies are needed to understand how these scores will change the TIA patient triage in the emergency room. Thank you for your attention.